I can't really sing. I have to sing goofy in order to sing. Like I have to sing stupid. Okay? Okay. The director, uh, you know, he, he wrote it as a reaction to the films that he was watching. He felt like these movies were like made in, you know, the, the characters were made in the image of, of gods. You know, he wanted to make a movie the, made in the image of man. And where f your flaws are what make you special, and uh, you know that these characters can't really acknowledge that because they're they're kind of living or striving for this idea of perfection that uh, only really exists in movies. This idea that uh, that's supposed to be perfect all the time. This idea of happily ever after. You know, but like what happens in the ever after part? You know, they, the characters meet and fall in love, but then there's a, a practical part of trying to keep your love alive. Where you live in a house together and you have to share a space, and for some reason. You know, a lot of people, a lot of love can't exist in those conditions, you know. He was trying to f figure out why. I don't know what you want me to say. I want you to tell me what's going on. I want to know. You got me feeling sick, you know? I'm very intuitive. I know there's something up. Initially, when I signed on in 2005, I, the idea was that we would shoot the beginning, wait six years, and then shoot the latter part of the film, and, uh, he was into that idea, you know. It's like when you meeting a filmmaker that's that's that kind of guy, you know. It's like that never happens. It was the financiers. They were like, "Oh yeah, six years? No, you have a weekend," you know. We weren't allowed to do it, but the fact that he was willing to do it was meant a lot to me. Stop! 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 No! 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 no. Stop! Stop! You gonna tell me? No! Stop! Come down! You gonna tell me? The people I grew up around were really colorful characters, you know, but very flawed but still like uh, special because of their flaws. And they weren't good or bad. They were kind of good people doing bad things, you know. Uh, I could never really quite pigeonhole them in my mind or, or, or label them in any way, you know. They were just, they were very more complicated than the movies that I was watching. You know, it seemed like in movies, people were good or bad, or there was this guy or that guy, but everyone played their part, you know. And uh, I kind of look for characters that aren't so easy to write off, you know. I look for, um, the people that I grew up around. You know. I hope this movie. I hope it's uh, you know like a, starts a dialogue between couples. You know like how do we stop this from happening to us? You know the film isn't uh, isn't saying that this is inevitable. You know it's saying that this is what happens when you don't uh, when you just think that love is enough. You know and so my hope is that, you know people like when you have to see the film that you. You go home and call the one you love, you know, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you start talking, you know, try to make sure that this never happens. <laughs>